Old Man Allen goes back to his roots of Project 2020 it is going to be very interesting to see how much these cost. I know that I want a natural Jackie Robinson right now, but if it's a thousand dollars, I may have to pass. And those very prints we talked about last night on episode number 112 are now live on tops.com. But before we talk about that, my name is Chris, otherwise known on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website, CRTSportsCards.com, is where you want to go for everything related to Project 2020, Project 2025, and now the artist prints. But here we are. It is Tuesday, the typical slow day of the week where we've only seen four of the ten cards and no print runs. This Tuesday, we got cards. Last Tuesday, we did not get cards. So it's good to be back to normal in Project 2020. And releasing today is Gregory Siff with his Mike Trout and Keith Shore with his Ricky Henderson. And Ricky Henderson's Keith Shore is one of my most anticipated releases. And while that will be an exciting contest to see who wins, the news of the day is really centered around the prints that are now available for certain cards on the tops.com website. As I sort of guessed last night, these were going to be expensive and they are very, very expensive. A base print of out of 99 is $399.99, so basically 400 bucks before tax. The artist proof versions out of 20 are $1,000, $999.99. And one of those random purchases is going to come with a gold frame one of one. So let's take this sort of in no particular order. Are these the right price for what we're offering? I think number one for me, the price point is too high, but for a couple of different reasons. Number one, I do not believe all of these artists are on the same level when it comes to what they can charge for a signed print of their work. I don't think Gregory Siff, Ermsey, Blake Jameson, all of them are on the same level, and I'm just picking three artists randomly here. But this is an interesting ball game here when it comes to signed prints. We're in a whole other realm now. We are now in the art world. We are no longer in the baseball card world. Yes, those are baseball card subjects, but for a price point, I don't see how they're all priced at 400 bucks. Number two, I think these prints crush the artist proof market of the actual base card. If you're about to spend 300 bucks on an artist proof on the website, you probably should just buy the print in the future. I think we're gonna see a shifting of the landscape here when it comes to the artist proofs, which are not real artist proofs, and these signed prints. But here is where I like the price point at $3.99. Number one, it keeps me from buying a ton of them. I may splurge for one, I don't know, 400 bucks is a lot of money. But the number one reason why I like the price point at $3.99.99 is it basically in the short term neutralizes the flip market. And if there's one thing I wish had not happened in Project 2020, but it's something we are living with to even this day, is the massive amount of flip gamers who came into the set early on in May and basically brought it to an all time high and then crush it a couple days later. So while I hope these sell out, I don't know if they will in a seven day time period. Some of them might. Some of the artists might be able to move these out of great clip. And I really do hope they all sell out. I hope people buy the artist proofs, all 20 of them, and the artists make a killing. This is what they should be doing. But I really, really hope the flip game on these does not exist. But if it exists, Maybe it'll exist in 10, 20, 30 years when one of these artists becomes just incredibly famous and this is one of their early print works and it's a unique project called Project 2020. So ultimately, we're gonna have to wait and see. I know emotion is on the high on both sides of the coin when it comes to these being good or bad, but it's gonna be curious to see how many of these sell out in the next seven days. But not to get lost in the shuffle on this Tuesday, are the two cards that released and let's just take them one by one here first up is gregory siff with his mike trout and i will tell you if tops called me i'd pick up my phone so next time gregory answer your phone when tops is calling so you don't have to rush your work at the last minute but i will tell you this is a really really interesting mike trout by gregory siff 
I first thought it was 3D almost like the Ichiro, but not as 3D as Ichiro. But the thing that stuck out to me the most and the part that I really liked about the card, because when I came back to the hobby in, I think, 06, 07, what was the telltale sign of an autograph? That big, ugly, gold, silver auto sticker on the card. And Gregory Siff has taken that auto label or auto sticker from his 09 Bowman card and put it smack dab in the middle of this Mike Trout. And I think it's an incredible feature. It also talks about his father, very similar to the Ken Griffey Jr. So all around, very, very nice card. And I cannot wait to purchase this card after this video because I'm not missing another card as we get to card number 400. And it is now time to put your brains to work to earn a free card for me around this Keith Shore Ricky Henderson. And I'll tell you first up, this card is great because it takes the 1991 Upper Deck Ricky Henderson, which when I was nine years old, I thought one of that was one of the coolest cards in the set overall and actually in the hobby at the time and takes it to 2020 and adds a Keith Shore flair to it. So really, really interesting card for Ricky Henderson and another great addition to the Henderson collection so far in Project 2020. But here it goes, at seven o'clock, that card had sold 17 copies on eBay. This is a full one hour before I normally talk about pre-order totals, so maybe that card got to 19 or 20. But what is the print run going to be? I have told you for many months what the print runs are potentially going to be. But now you tell me, you tell the fans what the print run is going to be. The person who gets closest to the print run of this Keith Shore, Ricky Henderson, is going to win a free copy. You have to post a comment below to win in this video. And it must be posted by 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday morning to be qualified. I will then highlight the comment that one or the person nearest the nearest the print run, and then I will comment with my email address. So if you are the winner, you need to email me and I will mail you that card. So best of luck on the very first free card promotion for me here at CRT Sports Cards. Go pick up a print, go pick up Ricky, Mike Trout, and I'll see you back tomorrow night for episode number 114 of the Project 2020 Nightly News.